Hi guys, it's Nez again. I've got a short video for you today which is all about taking screenshots on your computer. We uh, like the being able to use screenshots for a couple of different reasons. You can share things that you've um, researched and found online or doing your own research in the real world even by taking uh, little screenshots, screen grabs of the screen and uh, uploading it to your Google group so you can share it with your team. And also, as the challenge progresses, you'll be able to take little snaps of your market summary results, like the, your search engine optimization, your competition, things like that, and upload that to the forum. And there's a few different ways to do it. Now, the software that we recommend is Jing, because it's a cross-platform software. So whether you're a Windows or a Mac user, you'll be fine. Sorry, Linux users, or I can't help you out this time. And uh, it's pretty straightforward, so stick with me on the video, and I'll show you how we do it. The first thing you obviously need to do when we're getting set up for taking these screen grabs is download the software. So open up your browser, go to jingproject.com and you'll see straight away on the home page that there is easy download buttons for both the Windows and the Mac versions of the software. So choose which one you need. In this particular case I'm using Windows so I'll click on the Windows version and the software should start downloading automatically and if it doesn't there's a link in there for you to grab it anyway. So I'll save the file, it's quite small, won't take long to get. And once the software is completing downloading, all you need to do then is run the installation. So if you're in Windows or in using Firefox as we've suggested, the finished file is there to just double click on to get started. Click OK and we can start the, download, uh, the installation process. Run. Fairly straightforward. Now, Jing does require the Microsoft.NET Framework in order to run, so if you don't have that, you'll need to download it. I don't have it, so I'll be going through the download process for that. That can take a while, so I'll probably be pausing the video while that happens. Now, if you're a Windows user following along with this video and you're installing the .NET Framework, you're probably thinking to yourself, this has stopped working, nothing's happening. The Microsoft.NET Framework is probably the slowest installing piece of software in the history of computers. Now the Mac users out there amongst us are probably laughing quietly to themselves at the moment, or maybe loudly, I don't know, because they won't be going through the pain of having to install the .NET Framework. It's only for the Windows users out there, but please bear with it. It does actually install, it just takes an awfully long time to do it. Now for the Windows users out there, congratulations for sticking through with the .NET Framework installation. Mac users, you can stop laughing now. And we'll just click on the exit button there and we will get started with the installation of Jing. Now it's a fairly standard installation process, so I'm not going to make you sit through all of that with me. I will just see you at the other side where we click on the finish button. Alright, Jing has finished installing itself. We click on finish and it will create our desktop icons and things like that that we can use to take our screenshots. Now when you start Jing for the very first time, when you try to access Jing, which is found up the top there, you'll be presented with a account setup screen. So you'll need to create yourself an account in order to use the software. It's completely free. There is a, a professional paid version, but we don't need that. So you can create yourself a free account, click on continue and you will be inside the software. I'll just pause for a second while I log into my account. Now once you've uh, successfully logged in for the very first time, there is a tutorial video there for you to watch. So if you've got the time, take the time to watch that video, obviously after you've finished this one. Uh, if not, you can skip it and come back to it at another time. Now in order to use Jing in Windows, you need to just go up to your little yellow, oh, the little yellow sun up the top there and click on Capture to capture something. And a little yellow lines will appear that will let you frame where you're wanting to take photos from. Now what I'll do is I will demonstrate that using Market Samurai so you can see a way that you'll be able to use it in the forum. I've done a little bit of research on the term cowbell music because, let's be honest, the world needs more cowbell. And this is the SEO competition page and if I'm wanting to get some feedback from people about the way I've interpreted these results, a way for me to present that without giving away that niche would be to go up to Jing, set the capture tool and just capture this part of 
the page. That way people will be able to see all the information here that's pertinent, but they will not be able to see any of those URLs, so they won't be able to follow them and work out what your niche would have been. And you just click on Capture Image, and there is the image that's been framed and saved, and you can give it whatever file name you like and choose a download directory to save to. Now, screencast.com is a place that you can share files online to. You don't really need to do that unless you're shooting short videos, which is something else I can show you later as well. So we'll click on, we'll just put this cowbell test and click save and it will, it will let us choose a destination where we'd like to save the file. Simple. Now obviously it's showing you other ways that you can use that, that file in other areas but we don't need to cover that today. And that's pretty much it, it's quite simple. And if you ever need to access the files you've been taking apart from the folder you've been downloading them to, you can also have a look in your history on Jing and see where files have been saved to. Now if you're a Mac user, it's slightly different to access it. I'll bring up the Mac application window and you can see up here there's a little Jing icon, so it's a fairly similar process. There's just no sun and you just click on capture and that will bring up the same sort of a window. Same sort of thing. Okay. Now one quick little thing to show you before we finish this one off is how to do a video as well. Uh, videos are useful for sharing information with your team. It's not really something you can use on the forum because we have a policy about posting links anyway. But for, for the purposes of your team, brainstorming and showing each other websites you've found or talking through different resources or even through your research, this is the perfect way to do it. We'll use the Mac version this time, so we'll go up to Capture again and we'll frame whatever it is we're going to be talking about. In this particular case, I'll quickly do something on the 30DC Facebook app, which is sensational. Now instead of clicking Capture an Image, this time we will click on Capture a Video. So I'll click on that. My mic is on. If it wasn't, I could click on the button here to turn that on. Now this is going to be very short because I want it to upload quickly, but what you could basically do is talk through the different sections of your site or your research or whatever it is you're showing to people online. And once you finish doing that, you can see here that um, there is a timer that will show you how far the uh, recording has, has progressed. It can only go for a couple of minutes, so they're really good for really short, quick videos and it's free. Click on stop to finish the recording. And what will actually happen then is it'll show you a preview. You can give it a uh, a name. We'll just call it. Well, it's not really a cowbell test anymore, so we'll just call it test. Now, instead of saving it to the hard drive, which I can do, I want to save it to screencast.com so that I can then share the link with my team. And you'll see up in the top corner here that it says uploading to screencast.com. It's a 1.41 meg file just for those few seconds I recorded. Now, if I jump over to my screencast.com website. So you guys can go to screencast.com and over on the top right hand side here if you haven't already logged in you can use the same login credentials that you used for Jing and when you have a look at your library you'll see a folder called Jing. Double click on that folder and you should see your video that's been uploaded. Now you can see that this one here is currently not accessible so I'll give this a couple of minutes and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay that video is processed. Your thumbnail will look better than mine. I think recording two versions of screen capture software at the same time made it have a little bit of a uh, spack attack. Now when you do highlight your video though you'll see down the bottom there's some links here and you can uh, do a few things like view it and things like that. Now what we want is share. Click on the share button and what that will actually do is bring up a link that you can copy and paste straight into your Google group or just emailing it to your team, whatever it is like that. Take that uh, link, copy it. I'll paste it up in the window so you can see what happens. And you can see straight away that the video that I've produced has already been embedded into a page from that link and I can just click on play and it will go through the motions of playing the video for me. And it is a fantastic, easy and free way for you to share information with your team. And that's about it. I shall talk to you later.